Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Birdo and today we're doing a little bit of a different type of video. Instead of doing my regular unboxings today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a 3D printing project that I've done. Uh, this is gonna hopefully be the beginning of a new series that I do where I show you guys different projects. Um, so let's just try it out. So what I'm gonna talk about today is that daredevil cowl that you see in the back. I'm gonna show you guys my process and uh, hopefully have some fun with it. I put out a video a while back when I first got my Ender 3 Pro uh, and it's of me setting it up, doing some prints, uh, having fun with it basically and doing some small projects. Um, but this was my first real big project. Well, technically my first big project was this D&D dice tower that I made for a friend of mine and that took several months to do and finish, uh, but it came out really cool. They really enjoyed it, so shout out to them. Uh, but this was my first prop, uh, first mask that I did. So it was a learning process. I didn't do a whole ton of video, but I'll show you what I can. So the file that I used, I found on Thingiverse, and it was by user CK247. Uh, he put out this file a long, long time ago, and I did a search on YouTube for it, and another YouTuber that does a lot of 3D printing, Uncle Jesse, um, did a, pretty much a test print of this. He didn't finish it all, but he, he printed it out. He did like a quick spray paint on it just so people can get an idea of what it's like to set it up together. So I watched that, and that helped me a lot. Um, definitely check out that video, and uh, check out that file if you really like what the mask looks like let me know um, it was it was quite an adventure so I clearly didn't know what I was getting myself into even though I watch a lot of different uh, 3d printing youtubers like Uncle Jesse uh, the 3d printing nerd and frankly built I watch all their stuff just for tips and you know stuff like that and it was hard I took a little bit from everybody and found my own kind of method that I was comfortable with. Definitely some growing pains in terms of the materials that I use, but uh, I'm getting there. I learned a lot of lessons, so for my next project, I'll have a little bit of a better idea. All right, so when I started this, the first part of the mask failed. So I had to reprint it, so it was five hours gone right off the bat. Here's the other piece that I printed out. This is basically just after I printed everything, I taped it up to kind of get an idea of what it looked like. That's me being weird. Uh, the next thing I had to do was seal each side with wood filler and this was after gluing it and then um, putting wood filler to fill in the gaps because this was not a perfect model. So after you use the wood filler, you sand it down to fill in those gaps, make it nice and smooth. And I basically had to do this at least four more times. Basically, you just keep doing that until everything is as smooth as possible. After the wood filler and sanding, you put down a sandable primer and I put that all over it. I started getting pretty excited because it started looking pretty good, um, but even though it looked awesome, I had to sand it again. And much like the first part of it, you got to do that over and over and over again. At one point, it just felt like I was sanding stone because there were so many layers of it, but you just want to get it to look as even as possible. Um, but it takes a long, long time. I actually was doing this by hand and then finally I got wise and bought a palm sander, which made things a lot easier, but you gotta be careful so you don't overdo it. I forgot to mention when I super glued all the pieces together, they would come off the more you sand it, the more pressure you put on the mask. So it would break off and then I had to re-glue it. So next time I'm definitely gonna sand each piece individually and then glue it together and then do wood filler. And here's when I started painting for the black lines and that looks horrid. I did a terrible job. As you can see, the paint still got through so I don't know what the hell I was doing. Um, next, I taped off the black, which I also did a terrible job. Um, so I can paint it all red and here it is red before I took off the tape and as you can see it looks all right you can still see some of the seams and I had to do at least two more coats of this uh, after that I took off the tape and as you can see it looks very nice and pretty um, there are imperfections where the black lines are in order to fix those I had to spray a little bit of spray paint into a little cup take a paintbrush and then go in and fix all those little imperfections. So as you can see, it looks all right. I wish I used a little bit of a darker red um, and maybe use the shine finish, but you know what? 
it doesn't look bad. So here it is, so you guys can see it up next to me. Um, no, it's not meant to be worn. I always get that question. I didn't make it that way. This was strictly for display. I didn't measure it out or anything. I didn't put magnets on it so it can be for like cosplay. I just wanted like a, a display piece, but uh, here it is. It's not perfect. You can still see a lot of the seams, um, but for the time it took me and what I did, it uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, you can see how crudely I put the uh, eyes in there. They're literally just a plastic soda bottle that I cut, spray painted, and then glued onto there, but it looks pretty good. Um, I should have done maybe like a clearer type of paint or a different type of plastic, I don't know but I might look at that in the future, but it's, it, uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm very proud of it. So the other prop that I did was this stand right here. So the, the poles and the ball up here, those files are from Sentinel Props on Thingiverse. Um, they basically created this like standard for, um, stands for masks and cowls and other different types of props that you can print out and use uh, as you need um, and come up with your own type of bases for them and everything. Uh, so that's what I did here. Um, before we talk about the actual base here, um, I want to show you one little fault that I did. So I put these together, I glued them, and then I took my hair dryer and uh, you know, heated it to try to dry it out, so create a, a, a good seal here. And I wasn't paying attention, I was watching TV, I was holding it like this, held it way too long, and it started melting it. I don't know if you guys can really see that right there, but uh, it started melting it. I tried to put it back the best I could. I was so pissed, but you know what? Once the, the cowl is on there, you can't really tell, uh, so it's fine. It's fine. Fine, I'm not, yeah. So talking about uh, the custom stand, so this Daredevil part down here, that was made by user M. Crot on Thingiverse, and he created this part of it. And this was made to go with the one from Sentinel Props. So you can make your own designs um, and then just measure them out to go with this. It's a really cool system. Anyways, um, so I did, I did the stand and it turned out pretty good. The only problem I had was the file, uh, even though I think they said they used an Ender 3 to print it. When I loaded up the file, it was way too big um, and it didn't fit. So I had to scale it down, which meant I had to scale this down and that was a whole thing, but I, I got it to work. But yeah, anyway, so that is my project. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of video. Uh, to be honest, even if you don't, I'm still probably gonna make them. Um, but I hope you do like them. And uh, hope you like the new setup that I have here. Um, I have another project, Marvel based, that I'm gonna start working on, another helmet. Uh, it's right back there. If you can guess what it is, you get a Birdo Star. They're not worth anything, so don't expect anything of it. But I will shout you out um, if you guys can guess what it is. It's right back there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you next time.